another Killer Planes video. A bloody albatross! Albatross! Get your albatross! Love to see the sunlight! Hi, Steve from Killer Planes here with the lovely Denise and an airplane. This one, the Dynam Albatross D5. It's got a very distinctive look. It had a monocoque, monocoque. fuselage, like some later ones, the Mosquito. This one was made of plywood with the monocoque means no interior struts. They just like wrap it around a form and then you have a shell, like a paper towel tube, but made of wood. And there it is, and they made it nice looking, and they always painted their planes wild colors in World War I. Why not? Hey, come shoot me! So, they were more of a man back then, don't you think? So this plane had this distinctive look with this torpedo shape, the bulbous nose. I'm pretty sure this was the first spinner on a warplane ever. I could be wrong. And the Mercedes six-cylinder inline engine here, rendered in foam. This, of course, is a four-cell plane. It's got some serious power, but it also, we took it for a spin yesterday, and it flies like a World War I plane. You would swear you were looking at one of the real things. If you've ever seen one of these fly, they kind of just like float around the sky and do these wacky things like swing their tails around like this. The, the plane flies like that. You know, they climb it like, they look like they're stopping in the air, and it's like, is that plane gonna stall or f do anything? And no, they're just like climbing this fast. It's just real wacky, very scale looking in the air, very scale looking out of the air. They even have suspension on the wheels on all, all four struts cool. have spring-loaded suspension in them. Real nice job, except for their pilot, which is a stunted looking little pilot if I ever saw one. It's not even the right scale, it's way too small, so it's like little billy wing sitter so we took a pilot that's still not even the right scale and put him in, of course. It's going to completely change the way this plane flies, the fact that he has a mustache, I'm telling you. So this has a, by the way, they, it does come with a steerable tail wheel, but it also has a tail dragon strut, which you might be able to see there. Just like the real thing for, you know, landing in the grass, which we did a little bit of this. I've really never flown off grass before. It's a unique experience for me. So the Dynam albatross which we're selling at killer planes full crash proofing kit this one of course has the max kit in it like all of them do when we fly them so it's got lots of rods and lots of foam that the factory doesn't deem important enough to reinforce but we do so we put the rods in so you can have them like that makes it aerobatically stiffer airframe and of course helps you out if you should happen to flub one in never happens right well if it should this plane can handle flubs a whole world better than planes that are unreinforced this plane and others like it you can get them at killer planes or get yourself a kit put it in your own plane really worth the time let's get it up in the air and see what it flies like <laughs> Yes, today we have some clouds, so you can see what this looks like, flying against some beautiful clouds. You get a see better that feel. very realistic look, and the way that it kind of hangs in the, in the air. Oh yeah. And look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so scale looking in the air, it looks like such like the real thing. Oh yeah, very sweet. So you can make a right turn like this without too much rudder, but the left turn, you need to put rudder into and it. And we think it's because of the prop torque? I think it's because of the torque among other things. Torque. See that, <laughs> the way that that just hung there in that turn? Very cool. Yes. Okay, we do left and left rudder, right? And it comes around like that. Mm, pretty. And that's just a right bank, no rudder. And there's a left bank, no rudder. See, what it yeah. just kind of doesn't really want to turn around without the rudder. I want to live on the left bank. <laughs> look at the way this looks in the air. Does that look? <laughs> I know, it's, it's gorgeous. It looks out so real. So you can see the clouds as it goes by. It's very real. Come on, baby, Get you way can up do there. it. Turn it around. <laughs> that's so funny. Whee, come on, turn it around. I can imagine these things like 
trying to fly a real one of these. It must have been a trip. Yeah, dogfight maneuvers? Yeah. You, you really probably had to know what you were doing to fly one of these babies. I would this think so. This is not so. like flying a World War II fighter at all. And since it looks so real, if, if you've seen these things fly really, you'll, you'll see how real this looks in the air. Kicking the rudder in there. It does. We're at Rhinebeck right now. Very cool. Whoa. That's a stall and a fall. But you want to do high up in the air, like he did. Yes, yes, baby. For its day, you know, it's a crisp handling plane. When you do these things, you do this turn and kick that rudder in like that. So I'm going to go around left and kick the rudder in. Doing those World War I looking moves. You can imagine this thing in a dogfight, these things chasing each other around. Absolutely. Like this. You, can, you can really imagine it right there. Kicking some rudder, kicking yep. some rudder. Putting in a little heavy left rudder like that. Machine gun sound there. Very cool, man. Let's bring this in for a scale grass looking landing here. The wind's making it a little hard to control because it's got really good wing surface. Come on. It wants to glide. Oh, really gorgeous. Nice. Nice job, honey. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That's that's Steve. I love this plane laugh. He's he's loving it. He had fun. Trip, trying to get it to come down to the ground in the wind. <laughs> Ernst was a World War One fighter ace, and he spent some of his time in the Albatross. In fact, we have some footage of Ernst flying, I believe. As a matter of fact, I believe we do. Into the wind, Ernst Udet, and his magic Albatross. Go, Ernst. Go, Ernst. Leap into the air. Lieber. Ernst is going to do some World War One maneuvering. He hits the rudder and comes back down like this. Guns flaring. You turn it around, you kick in the rudder, and you dive in like Whoa. this. Very cool, man. Wow, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> That's Ernst fooling everyone about his intentions. Ernst being 3D. He is coming at the camera. So it flips it over and you dive and the right rudder. Look at that. Man, that's a hammerhead if I ever saw one. Let's do that again. Well, first you got to point up, Steve. And there we go. That Woo. was a full left rudder that time. Very trippy, very trippy flyer. Let's take the power down and dive, Ernst, to dive. Strafing run. Rat -a -tat -tat. More than that. Okay, Ernst, your time is up. I am not coming in. All right, nose down, pal. You come here, left rudder. Thank you. Don't call me pal. I will fly away from you. Give me some rudder like this. Okay, power down. And come down to the ground. Come on, Ernst. Yeah, baby. What a flyer he is, yeah? He will not. We will not come on down. He will not. We will not come on down. Come on down. Let him down. Let him down. No, 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 no. Dynam, Albatross. Get yours today at Killer Plane. Steve and Denise signing off and... See you on the flight line. So you can see that this is the battery lead and it goes into this hole back there, which is where it can fall in if it feels like it. So what we did is we wrapped a piece of tape around it, duct tape, and then hot glued the duct tape to the base here so that when it, if it does fall in, we could just grab the tape and pull it back out. And of course, we got a couple of Velcro straps, which we put our little tabs on the end of. And there it is. Uh, Albatross! Uh, what flavor is it? Or is it Albatross? Isn't it? It's not any bloody flavor!
Albert Joss. 